Water. No. No water? Okay, let's see who are our contestants. We have uh, Dravida <laughs> Prabhu. What name? Dravida. 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 Dravida Prabhu. He's, he's uh, been working for many, many years in BBT. This is Amarendra Prabhu. He's a lawyer. Shakespeare said kill all the lawyers. Anyway, this is... This is a lawyer on lawyer. And uh, let's see, this is Savas... This is, you know, Bhagwan? Uh, oh, yes. The Lord. <laughs> and this is uh, Savas Prabhu. He's the president of New Dwarka. And this is, uh, of course, you know, Bhakti Charu. Oh, yeah, I know. This is my disciple, Daru Brahma. For many what? years... What name? Daru Brahma. Oh, Daru Brahma. Yes. Daru. For many years, he was president in Florida, Gainesville, Florida. And there was a disciple of Bhakti Charu Swami. I yeah. hit them in Guru Bar. Problems have been there. And put them into a compost pile <laughs> and have some fresh vegetables come up <laughs> so people can laugh and have fun. Fighting is not so much fun. I mean, we're, we like to fight a little bit, <laughs> but all the time is, is not good. And, uh, everybody in this room has a lot of love for you. I, I believe you have a lot of love for them. And I think that's the thing that Prabhupada was very expert at, taking all of us who really didn't like each other very much and making us like each other <laughs> to some degree. That's my daughter, she's lost. <laughs> you know Manjari, she gets lost. It is her, right? Hello? Are you lost? Care of her, right? It's <laughs> Uh, we all have a history. I was telling uh, Maharaj, we used to sit in the GBC meetings and out of so many people, how much we really liked each other was there only because of problems. So to, to work together and to cooperate and to admit that I'm sorry I stepped on your foot. You're sorry you stepped on my foot. How do we work together intelligently so we can actually do something positive for Prabhupada and previous Acharyas and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? That is our challenge today. Everybody in here, Maharaj, Maharaj, all the Maharajas, are, is very intelligent. Beyond intelligence, at least I understand, is the spiritual realm where you really prove who you are. Because the, the Ritviks are intelligent, the non Ritviks are intelligent. Everybody's intelligent. How we use that intelligent not as a weapon is the, the challenge that we have. If we can make progress today, because we actually love Prabhupada. If we can make progress and learn how to work together, and if, if need be, people can express how they feel hurt or worried, and we can resolve it quickly, that would be the best. Make future. How we can make future. Other honor. That is the purpose of the meeting. Sometimes we may have to bring up some points and you also may need to bring up some points. Just to have a, a little example possibly of where things instead of going together went like this. But only for an example because we don't want to get into arguing too much. My understanding is that we're here to edify and build up and make strong again Prabhupada's movement. My understanding is you came to the West 
to help Prabhupada. Yeah, for certain. And ISKCON needs service and help. I understand that there's been a lot of pain because of the way GBC has responded to things. Anyhow, I think the one who said this in this movie, and according to the intelligence they have been, but we can think more how we can each other honor and fulfill the mission. Is it your desire, if possible, to be an active part of ISKCON, work with people like Bhakti Charu, Nanda, all of you working together, without necessarily putting Maharaj as the new ISKCON Acharya, but working with... No, I don't want to. I want to do Is that clear to help with all of you? In all means. I don't want to be a church. I don't want to be GBC. Nothing. No position. I want to help with my core of heart. Even in our own society, Shiva Buddha is not the Acharya. In our Gaudi Vedanta Samhita, he is the Godbrother, the Bhakti Vedanta, Raman Goswami Maharaj. He's a chariot. So what to speak of being a chariot in this society, even in his own society, he is not taking the right position, only giving advice and helping devotees develop their Krishna consciousness. The way Prabhupada organized this con with us was that we were meant to recognize him as the founder Acharya and work with him through the Governing Body Commission. We all have experience of working with the Governing Body Commission, of which I was also a part for many years. But sometimes the way they execute the order is like an executioner. It's not always with the loving hand that experience and wisdom does. So, Working with ISKCON practically means helping to make the GBC a better body and also working cooperatively with them. That's a big challenge because they have been also very, they have also been successful in alienating people as well. Otherwise, there wouldn't be so many groups. And I've also been a part of causing some alienation. So I don't speak in a way of pointing fingers. But now we want to come together again. And uh, are we in agreement with that, that we can try to work with them? Let's say your disciples, your followers, the people who used to be in ISKCON, is it possible to preach in such a way that we encourage them to come together and spend some time together? That certain things that maybe cause fear, like we talked about yesterday, can be alleviated. You know, maybe some time where yourself and some of the this kind of leaders can actually spend some time together and you can understand what makes them afraid, they can understand what, and go on to much more progressive things. Because sometimes I, I think they have a fear that Prabhupada becomes relativized. Sorry? That means what that Prabhupada... Huh? What is that? Uh, a Prabhupada uh, pod uh, 
And sometimes I think, Maharaj, maybe when you might say certain things, the devotees are very sensitive because, and I have also created some of that sensitivity by not treating the devotees as Prabhupada would. And so after the initial gurus went their own way, the movement became very sensitive. And when a strong personality like yourself comes in and maybe isn't familiar always with certain things that Prabhupada told us, it pushes a button and all these red flags go up, you know. And then it starts being fear, and when there's fear, the next thing is fighting. Because that's what people do when they have fear, they fight. So, I think it would be wonderful if somehow or other, it may happen today or not, we can work under the same roof. And your devotees can help after you have rejuvenated them, given them vitamins, that they can help complete some of Prabhupada's projects and help the temples who are without the exuberance of waving the Narayan Maharaj in everyone's face so much. Because, you know, that it's not you I'm saying, but we did it also with Prabhupada. We took Prabhupada and pushed it down people's throats sometimes. So we know that situation, you know. And then my disciples and others' disciples used to push us like that. And I think sometimes in your group they do the same thing. And it's time we learn not to do that. It's time to learn, you know, that enthusiasm needs to be uh, subdued. tempered, gentle, yeah. subdued, you know, so that uh, it doesn't become cultish again. You have a tremendous amount to offer, even if it's not so much in what you say, which is also important, but just the fact that you give that utza, you give the enthusiasm, and Prabhupada said, without enthusiasm, there's nothing. But enthusiasm directed properly will be very successful. So, I think on the one hand, to resolve it, there has to be certain positive things and certain negative things have to end. One of the negative things that has to end from ISKCON is to keep a very lovely person like yourself from coming into Prabhupada's home. You saw yesterday how I felt about that. Yes. And I know that Prabhupada would not... I mean, if Prabhupada was in town and you were in town, there's no question that you'd probably be sitting on each other's lap. If Prabhupada knew that Narayan Maharaj was in town, he wouldn't want Narayan Maharaj to be giving a talk somewhere else and him giving a talk somewhere else. There was no question about that. You would be sleeping in his quarters with him, telling jokes, having fun, <laughs> giving massages, making each other laugh, and talking how to promote things. On the other hand, when the followers go into ISKCON temples and because they don't let you go, it's like they start batting. That's not going to work anymore. Oh, that is I want. But first we should make any proposal to discuss how we can honor each other. How we can have no plan to meet each other. 
and then I may go there, they can come to me, get me there. I have a practical, well, I hope it's practical. Can you hear me all right from this distance? Can you understand him properly? Yes. Is that? Where I will not understand, I will tell Chalma. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think this is the essence of mutual respect, mitaha. Uh, mutually honoring. Uh, that was also my conclusion. So, okay, I, I'll bring up a practical point. That <clears throat> from our side, we have been serving Prabhupada, of course, for, well, over 30 years. So, so <coughs> naturally Srila Prabhupada trained us in many ways and uh, so from our side, of course, a, a Vaishnav should be uh, Amani. But uh, uh, I, I can tell you that the, 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 the Vaishnava... Uh, Vaish Amani Manat. Yeah, Vaishnava Bhaved Amani. Oh, very good. Yeah. <laughs> so, at the same time, uh, We feel that it's necessary that that the, those who are senior in ISKCON should be recognized as uh, as actually representing Sridhar Prabhupada and uh, actually representing Sridhar Prabhupada and, and having a special understanding of Sridhar Prabhupada and. And based on that special understanding, Srila Prabhupada asked some of us to represent him, even in his physical absence. And so, uh, I bring this up because for us, this is one of the important things that has to be acknowledged in, in a relationship that, that there is some understanding that, that, that is relevant to, to, to the cooperative mission. Anyway, imagine. So I, I'll, I'll start. For example, let me give one example here. Prabhupada back in, I think it was 1970, you know Brahmananda. I think you maybe have met Vishnu John at one point. They started saying basically that Prabhupada was Krishna. You know that story, I think. He told me himself. Sorry. Right. It started with Prabhupada calling me and Rupanuga that he was being pretty much violated. What was happening is certain of his secretaries were opening his mail, giving him letters that they wanted him to see, keeping other letters that they didn't want him to see. And when Achyutananda went to India to stay, they started relativizing Prabhupada. The Prabhupada was just Swamiji and that uh, Prabhupada wasn't really the founder of ISKCON. Prabhupada became very upset, very hurt, and he said, I'm not coming back. They made it worse after that by saying that, oh, now we'll make it better, and now we'll make Prabhupada Krishna. <laughs> That's our way of making it better, right? So anyway, there are certain understandings that Prabhupada, which I think I'm giving the purport here. Yeah, that's one aspect of it. The founder Acharya idea of ISKCON. And he wanted that position exclusively, but at the same time the doors were open for everyone 
to come in and live in his live in the house. Obviously, it's Lord Chaitanya's house. It's Corny Tai's house, but he is the founder of Charya. And I think he had a problem with his god brothers, and he often told us to be cautious about this because he worked very hard to do this as you know and a lot of time his god brothers never gave him the real recognition they said Iskan was Bhakti Siddhanta's move and that's true in one sense you know it's one and different so the difference is that Prabhupada actually came and did the work and had the heart attacks and sacrificed himself and did others and then you know invited us all in so the thing is I, I believe that the people the disciples that are with you even though you have your sangha here I think they long to be part of ISKCON I think they, they long for that and I think I would hope that that's what you would want too because after you go they have to have a home and there's already a lot of homeless devotees out there. So we want to integrate now. And we want to make one again. So I think what Maharaj is, is referring to here is the, some of the things that Prabhupada stressed on. And something. But yes, or no, that I am also serving him since 1946. And there was no doubt, legal or devotee, no nice nothing. He was also there. And he was one of the members who established Guru Vedanta Samhita. He was one of the founders. And from then, and serving him, associating with him. I have also experienced him for more than 54 years. And still, I think that he is alive. And I want to follow him. Like my, I see no difference. Our difference in body, difference in other things, but same line. Also, I got pissed when he took Sanya. So, I think that I am also his disciple. They should not think that only they have served him. I, I think that I have served more than him. From core, from core of my heart, I have so much regard for him. If anyone tells that, uh, oh, we, we have only served, he has much, he is very painful for him. He is so I understand. I, I, good, we're having a discussion. I think I would never say that you have not served Prabhupada. <coughs> I would never say that, and I don't think anyone, I've never heard I of. want that we should not go in discussion, all these things we get aside. I want that today we are meeting in very lovely manner or atmosphere. We should think only of today some proposals from your side, from our yes, side. And let us meet in another meeting anywhere. And we should try to to discuss on the points, very easy thing, that how we can meet together and honor We can go to each other and then discuss the, if any greatest um, anything point or letter. The first I want that we should not go in. In this discussion that who has served, not served, what has been done, the city has served in um, what, uh, old stories now. And you should see future to make as we propose. 
So one we of our suggestions are some proposals and we should easily matters we should take and discuss. One of my proposals, and uh, it, it goes along a little with more I said, I think it would be really good for ISKCON and for But you. I know that he is not only, he is not a representative of all these cones. Is he? I would say that uh, in, a, in a sense... I want he, that we should discuss. No, in a sense, Easy I would. Life. In a sense, I would say yes. In this sense, Veda Veda. Obviously, ah. obviously, Iskand has its GVC, but among the senior people, I have taken some initiative to try to continue. But I know uh, he was also GVC. Yeah. He was also chairman, and all. Um, I know Bhavan also. Yes. And strong personality in school, whichever he is, and so many there. No, but that's not my point. My, 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 my point is there. Yeah. So I want that this would be called a called a story. Why not now? So we should discuss for future. No, I'm only I'm only trying to answer your question. You should also see me like a school. Yeah, that's fine. You you raised a question and I was trying to answer it. That's all. I'm not uh, you raised the question. No, I have not. The question was... We want that discussion, so this talk, and only for we can discuss. Well, why don't you finish what you are... He's making a proposal. Yes, right. That proposal today we is, should make some proposal for what we can on, discuss. From now on, let us consider how we can proceed. Ah, yes. Okay. I, want. I have some ideas. First proposal is some sadhu satsang in which some of the leaders can stay with you, you stay with them. Not testing, coming, coming. Yeah, we can spend some, some time so we can, so some of the past can be clear. I mean, it's nice to put it in full story, but that can also be denial. Right. I talk about the proper time. Right. This is not the proper time. I know, but, but, but you know, I, I have to say a word here. And that is, I mean, if we can be very honest, and I'm not raising a specific issue, but, I mean, today is May 31st, the year 2000. And so a year ago is not the proper time. A year later is not the proper time. So whenever we meet, it's not the proper time. So I, I, I think that, what, I mean, you've all come here, you're all welcome any time to come to my house. Certainly now I am Maharaj is welcome to stay in my house, but I'm saying that if, if somehow by having so many people here the atmosphere is not appropriate for practical discussion, and as, as His Holiness has mentioned, I think we should try to understand what it, when is the practical time, what is the proper format, and uh, my interest is not to deny that uh, Narayan Maharaj is serving Prabhupada, that's not my motivation, that's not what's in my heart. As Bhagavan said, my intention is to try to see how we can have cooperation. The points I raised were not meant to be critical of anyone, but, 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 but let us try to understand what is the proper time, what is the proper format, if we actually want to make progress. Okay. Can, I, can I add something? Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, Narayan Maharaj is pointing out that he is ready to them. He also agrees with all the points that you are making. There is a need for working together to search for the problem. So he is agreeing with that. And the point is like what I felt is that he is feeling some apprehension, some concern that this body is not really representing the whole of his God. That's what I tend no, to no, answer. That, oh, that, that's this what I was attempting to speak on. I do? don't want. I want that <laughs> we should honor each other, not that he is not a little kid. He is not. I am not. Thank you. But something. What I cannot. Bully, bully. Na bully, ha bully. Is kon kon hai? Uska representative. कल जो नहीं थे वो आज हैं आज है सुख
So, so this I want to the, those who have gone far from ISCO, they have left. But really, they are very sincere, and they want to work with ISCO. There are so many I know, and only the persons who left a school anyhow are with me. I have no <coughs> here and there any disciple who are not related to school. All of them. <coughs> so I told like this, but not that you are not related. But no, that point is also in our hearts, no? like you know, I mean. We know that there is, it, 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 I mean, we have to convince many others, you know, yes. who may have their different oh, that views, is right. and, you know, like, and we have to be prepared for that. Like, you know, it's not going to happen just overnight. But, you know, but I, but we hope that it happens, because that will be beneficial for everyone. So some religion, religion you should make? Yeah. That in future practical meeting, problem we can always. discuss that. Maybe Maharaj, why don't you suggest like what would you like oh. this con to I am ready to follow you all. <laughs> no, no Maharaj. <laughs> I, I want to make some suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> I want that you should invite sometimes to me. Yeah. And I will invite to you. You should give me chance to give my offerings to the Lord of Sutra. Here's practical proposals. The Prabhupada's temple should be open in the Raya Maharaj. They should also know that he is alive. Another practical proposal. Iskan temples are not manpower rich. They need manpower. There's temples that hardly have pujaris. There's temples that hardly have cooks. There's temples that hardly have people going out preaching. These were temple presidents that, that need manpower. Narayan Maharaj is taking devotees that some reason or other have lost the connection with this kind and given them some shelter and a home. Maybe sometimes the way you preach may not be familiar to everybody. I don't think that's really a big issue. I think the big issue is that temples have no people. I think the big issue is there's projects that Prabhupada gave his life for. I'm ready for this. I think In Maharaj, any hope, you I mean, could. This is not. But we should honor each other. We think that we are in the society. Here, in the family of Sila Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, from Kanish to Uttam, all we are. But, but, I mean, this mitha samana, we have to honor each other. But, as, as you know very well, Rupa Gosai, Rupa Gosai says, Guhyam Akyati Puchati. And so, Guhyam Akyati Puchati. He said that we have to honor each other. I'm sure Rupa Goswami is telling Guhyam Akyati Puchati. It should be done, Preeti Lakshana. So, if, if, if today, if today is not the right time, the points that I'm bringing up, which I'm, I'm bringing up not in a mood of criticizing, but in a mood rather, it is Preeti Laksham, Guhyam, Akyati, these are the things that actually are important to us. And Bhagavan, you can propose that, that's very good. I personally would be very happy to have Narayan Maharaj coming to our temple, to have his devotees there. That's ultimately my goal, but in order to get there, like if we say, I want to go from Los Angeles to Calcutta, but there's a process to go there. And if you say it's not the time to take the plane, it's not the time to take the boat, well, how do you propose to go there? And, and so if we, obviously, that it's practical for us to, to have this mutually working together, if there is Preeti. And, 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 and so Preeti Lakshana means there has to be honest, respectful, uh, conversation. So that's my question. When is the time when we can actually engage in this process, process of Guhya Makyati? Prishan actually talked about the real issue. When is the time? Okay. Well,
I think there was a very wonderful atmosphere at the end of the 80s, beginning of the 90s. Always with Shudana and you know, he gave so much help, inspiration, leaders of his school would come to him. Whatever was the situation, when they were with Shudana they were always very happy and inspired. And at one point, which was not on our uh, side to decide, this con made a ban. They said children are animal else is not local, you cannot visit even the Somali. Yeah. That is a very difficult thing to digest. If that is not addressed, then this Uyghur Maghapi Pichuti, this pretty, can never develop. No, but, but if we want to go in the proper sequence. So I want that yes. you should make some resolutions. Yes. All right. Huh? And then you should read it. We should read it, and then we, we can meet you as a professor that in his house. One of the things I believe that will open the door, and I tried to express this yesterday, obviously knowledge of Krishna is unlimited. It's, uh, I think Prabhupada said there's so many volumes of Bhagavatam here, and on other planets there's so many volumes there. The devotees get very, I don't know the word in Hindi, spooked, nervous, nervous, sensitive. sensitive, when someone says, Prabhupada didn't give everything, and I am giving more. That, that is mad. You know? Mm -hmm. I think I'll give an example of myself. Prabhupada wanted books printed in a certain way. And he, like this to Rameshwar, bang, bang, bang. But with me, I printed books totally different. And he loved my books. Everybody's going to do something different. They think Narayan Maharaj speaks differently than Prabhupada. And that may be true in some sense. There are certain things maybe, and I'm, I am being practical here, that I think you need to be aware of without thinking that the other side is mad and crazy. That. He wasn't saying that. He was saying that anybody. Those who speak like that. He said those who yeah. speak like that. Yeah. Wow. Those who speak like that. Those who speak like that. Everybody right. is not in trouble, but they are not. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because I know yesterday your point in the lecture was you just have to go deeper, and your service is to kind of bring out what is there. And I have to believe that that's your intention. If there's anything in the past that was said that made people nervous, I think you need to understand that. Just like Prabhupada, before we went to India, he told us, I come to America and I call you all rascal. He said, but you can't go to India and call people rascal because it means something different there. So, <laughs> If that's a good example, you know, I'm just saying, ISKCON is trained in a certain language, and I think it's important that you understand certain things so that there's no need for conflict. There, there really isn't. But it may just be certain ways things are said or whatever that make them crazy, oversensitive, reactionary. Narayan Maharaj is thinking that he's this. That may not at all be. But I know, in the beginning, when some of the first devotees went to India and used the word rascal, people got up and left. In America, rascal means little rascals. You know? It's a, it's a joke, practically speaking. So that's one thing. The other practical proposal is if we can remove the objections, and there are specific objections, which I think Maharaj or somebody could actually put down on a piece of paper and just give you the study and it could be discussed. But in a very practical, 
perhaps things that this con said, perhaps things that you might have said, that are actually in print, that are out there, that are worrying people, which are keeping people from putting it in cold storage and keeping it in hot storage. And I think if that kind of, like I was asking your bit of Maharaj, what is it? You know, what is it that he said? So he had some things that were said in the past by followers of yours, and maybe including Jadarani, <coughs> specifically. I mean, Maharaj is trying to say specifically. Let's get specific, then we can put it in cold storage and put it into compost. Something new can come, so that there's not always fear. I mean, Iskand lost their father. <coughs> They're fearful. I and others tried to help the best we could. You are trying to help the best we could. As best as I could, I know I hurt you. As best as you could, you may have said things that hurt people. Even Prabhupada apologized at the end of Chaitanya Charitamrita. We're saying. Yes, sir. As a humble, he applied me. You were there, I remember. So that's one thing. I, uh -huh. Okay, here's one example. You're both in the same room. And uh, Srila Maharaj said, yes, that person who is mad who says that. Now you thought that he was saying that he was mad, but he was actually agreeing with him. But in the course of the conversation, you found out that he didn't say that or mean that at all. Similarly, we have some idea of what Srila Maharaj uh, says and means, and but because we don't ask him, we, what if you broadcast that, what you thought he said, and we hadn't asked him, then that would have been very bad, but you didn't, it came out in the conversation. So yesterday, um, one of our God brothers, um, uh, he asked uh, Srila Maharaj, Prabhupada says that uh, he always stressed uh, worship of Jagannath and Ratha Yatra, and you say that worshiping Lord Jagannath will not get you to Braj praying. That seems like a contradiction. So Srila Maharaj took a very long time to explain how actually Prabhupada meant that too by going into Prabhupada's Chaitanya Charitamrita and why Prabhupada appeared to stress Jagannath worship to show that there's a really a reconciliation and how they're not really saying two different things. Because even in Prabhupada's own books, uh, in so many meetings, we argue, no Prabhupada meant that, no Prabhupada meant that. So even within one person, there's it's an apparent contradiction, but, but it's, there's no contradiction. It's all reconcilable by someone who understands that the two things mean the same thing. So like one, just an example, a little example, uh, in Bajinarayan Prabhu's paper, he said that Prabhupada said that uh, the Guru does not, uh, does accept the karma, and Srila Narayan Maharaj says the Guru does not accept the karma. So being with Srila Maharaj for so many years, and also adoring Prabhupada's books more than my life, and hearing so much from both, I know that they're both really saying the same thing, and there's a really an answer to show how they're both saying the same thing. And that can be explained very easily. So all of the points that are said to be different in a very friendly and loving conversation can be easily reconciled. That's what I think. So one of my practical proposals is some of the leaders, GBC men, that do represent all the countries should visit you for some days and spend time in some kind of setting where whatever questions they have about what you meant can be cleared. Then it can go into cold storage. Then it can go in there. Otherwise, papers, letters, complaints, it goes on forever. You know this. That's I proposed that before you came. That was one of the reasons I said, come to my house. We, we never close our doors. Everyone is welcome. 
know if some sadness comes to our temples, he may also sit on the same level. Yeah, so I, if, I, if I could ask a question about that when we get to date and time, and that is that um, I know that often it was Prabhupada's custom that when his god brothers would come and they had things they had to talk about, sometimes they would, he would probably send away his disciples and he would actually talk to his god brothers. Now, at some time, I mean, I, the first thing Narayan Maharaj said when I went to see him last year was that we should establish friendship. And I, I agree with that. But also what you're saying is that it's, it's true we have certain doubts. Even Arjun had doubts when he spoke to Krishna. And those doubts have to be cleared. And as, as Jadarani said, uh, that everything is simply misunderstanding, then I, I think that, uh, to be honest, I think that also I get a strong feeling that ISKCON is not fully understood. Now, I'm not saying that ISKCON has done everything right. We certainly make, have made mistakes. I'm sure we have committed offenses and so on. I'm not trying to justify everything. At the same time, I get, I feel strongly that maybe I can be shown something else is the case. But at this point, I feel very strongly that ISKCON is also misunderstood. Its intention, why ISKCON does certain things, why we have taken certain, even if we've done things improperly, but you know, there are reasons. I, I don't think the explanation is simply that uh, we are lechas or envious or this or that. I think there are other reasons. And so I think that, and that's, that's the first thing that Narayan Maharaj said, which I think, I think he really gave the, uh, the sada, you know, the essence of everything. When he came, and the first thing he said was, you know, we have to honor each other. That um, sammana, you know, mita haso. So that honor each other, I think, includes efforts on both parts to understand what the other side meant, what the intention was. And uh, so that's, so my desire to have that kind of conversation with Narayan Maharaj is not because I want to win a debate, it's not because I want to uh, establish a criticism, it's actually the opposite. I'm trying to clear these doubts out of my heart, just as Arjun, his intention was not to criticize Krishna, uh, but the intention was to, to transcend these things. And so at some place and time, we have to have the freedom in whatever situation, I mean, Narayan Maharaj feels comfortable in. If he wants some of his followers there or not there, that, that he should decide. But at some point, there has to be an honest discussion where we can finish these things so that we can clear the way for the type of friendship that we all desire. If we are going to each other, sometimes yeah. meeting, then we will have chance to trust each other. And then gradually these doubts will go. If you have no faith on me, and I have no faith on you, discussion will be like parents. Mm -hmm. I have oh. a proposal. Yes? My proposal is that your Vida Prabhu put down some of the things which hurt the heart of Iskand. Real or not real. Things which have said it that you can, no, you can look at it at your own time. Then when you to write, not to speak. Yeah, not to speak. Not to speak. Just put it down, you look at it, then we meet again at my place. One point here. The other point here is someone like myself comes in, I ask the simple question. Why can't my friend go to the temple? Alright, I'm coming in from some place, uh, Narayan Maharaj is a friend of mine from Rindavan uh, for a long time. Why he can't come to the temple? Well, obviously there's a reason from that side. Why? They, they have a reason why. It's important that that's the first thing that changes. If you are welcome in the temple, they are welcome in your temple, finish. None of this closing doors. We know how it feels not to be able to go to Jagannath Puri and go into the temple because we're white. 
We know how that feels. That doesn't feel very good. The Jagannath is worshipped all over the world, and we can't go into the temple. It hurts. You must feel hurt. No force too much. I can drink on the side. Okay. So whatever reasons are there should try to be reconciled in the next meeting. I know meeting. that he's there to be like Christian. Of course. Of course. But Prabhupada built he the lost temple. All. He's very generous. So I don't I can do it. Well, you can reconcile in your heart and do a program somewhere else. But the fact of the matter is that I don't feel that there is a good enough reason that Prabhupada would accept that you can't come to the temple. I don't think there is a good enough reason. And that has to be cleared immediately. Because until that's cleared, I don't think there'll be goodwill and blessings. Well, if I could, if I could interject something, I don't think that I know that uh, Shri cannot come to the temple. He can come to the temple, but there's certain restrictions. So I, I don't think that we should impose here that he cannot come to the temple or any Iskand temple. He can, but there's certain restrictions that TBC have recommended as to him coming to the temple. So I think we should focus more on that. Anyone can go. Yes. If my body can go, in if uh, the starts of holy uh, if you are not in, I don't know what, but if I am going, I am going pranam and coming, signing. What part is there? No harm. And you know, he is saying that there is no restriction. I mean, there is no restriction. Yeah, there is no restriction. Yeah, no so he goes straight from here. Yeah, no one is. Uh, yeah, he is saying that there is no that, restriction. Let's put it like this. He was always invited to attend the uh, somebody function in Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. No longer invited. So is then you don't feel welcome. Yeah. I think. Um, but again, we have to talk about this. Yeah. You yeah. see. Yeah. You see, you see, you you have to decide from your side if you bring up these points that the GVC said, you know, he, sh he, sh he shouldn't come or he wasn't invited here. If you want to bring up those points, then we have to be able to answer, discuss. Yes. Now, at the end of the discussion, we may say that we were wrong, but still, there has to be a discussion. So, so that's my whole point. That's why whenever we meet with Narayan Maharaj, and I always enjoy meeting him. I'm very happy he's come here. That's why I bring up these points. Not because I want to show that I'm right and you're wrong. That's not my point. No, but, but, but we but also understand there is a certain proper time. At the beginning, yes. when we started going yes. here and there, everyone said, oh, he's going to go for one time. He's an old person. So he will not preach. He will not have any influence. I don't want to go. So <laughs> we have so much better experience in that also. But you no. have to, then what, is, so I trying to say, what is the right time? No. Now is the right time because so many devotees all over the world become inspired and enlightened. No, I mean the right time to discuss. This is the right time. All right, but then, so we have to decide, are we going to really discuss these things? Yes. You are in this house? We are. I propose that whatever is keeping the free flow of association be looked at and the, the fear that has caused that to happen be removed. That's only going to happen as Myers says when you look at what would happen and say, okay, we're not going to do this anymore because that doesn't work. That creates this and then that creates a resolution and resolutions for the most part they okay. become dissolution. So, what do you suggest that would change a policy that Narayan Maharaj is invited to the festivals, that Narayan Maharaj can initiate, that Narayan Maharaj can give a talk? What would you suggest? that would make Narayan Maharaj no different than you. Oh, God, I wouldn't wish that <laughs> <laughs> Why can't Narayan Maharaj be like Bhakti Charu Maharaj? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Uh, no, he's funny too. <laughs> Marge, he's very funny. He makes people laugh. Uh, I personally have faith in Narayan Maharaja's Krishna consciousness, his good intentions, and his devotion, his bhakti. I, I think that to some extent, this very new, new dana, uh, Aitihasik uh, experience, this, this, yeah, this new historical experience of an international Vaishnav Sangha. If you have a Gaudiya Vaishnav movement, everyone is a Gaudiya, you know, Banglajan. And if, and if you have, for example, Sri Sampradaya, everyone is Tamil or in Andhra Pradesh. Or So this fact that we come from very different cultural backgrounds, and, and I think part of it is that we all agree about Lord Chaitanya and Krishna, but as you were saying, certain Americans, you know, certain things for us are all right, but perhaps for someone from a different culture, it's very disturbing or offensive. And certain things in India, perhaps, everyone understands. But, but in America, people become very disturbed. And so that's why Narayan Maharaj is saying, I think he's given the solution. And, and I'm trying to give a purport to his solution. And that is that uh, I think we need to talk. And we need to be in an atmosphere where we can reveal our mind. Even, I mean, Krishna is God, Paramesha. And still Arjun said, Buddhi Mohiya Siva Me. Uh, and, and so even Arjun had doubts and he expressed them to Krishna. So we need to, I would say as soon as possible, because Lord Chaitanya is waiting for us, so as soon as possible, in a situation where everyone feels comfortable, in a spirit of priti, and not of, you know, uh, iskan vijaya, but you know, in, in, in a spirit of priti, that we should really be able to reveal our minds, guhyam. And, and say, you know, this is what bothers me. This is what I'm afraid of. This is, and, and then everyone speak. And, and So here's my proposal. I think certain things have been said and done. They can be put on a piece of paper. You can study, you can study. The next time we meet, you can have your answer. Okay, just like sometimes someone may ask you a question and you say, let me think about it a little bit. So from your heart and praying to Prabhupada on all sides, even it may be painful to write and painful to read, you know, it's like sometimes people tell me, oh, Bhagavan Maharaj, you said that back in France. And I look at them and I said that. <coughs> so let's do that. The next proposal is we meet at my house, up in Badger. Very pretty. Be very nice and we can take long walks and you know very sweet and resolve all that then really put it in the compost and how they will advance my hope Maharaj getting up on all doubts from both sides so then the, the next proposal is to just talk yeah and again you is that you can fix any date yeah. And the next thing I really think from a practical manager uh, point of view, these temples need devotees. And these devotees have to learn how to love and cooperate with each other and not create. Or in a moment, they will be. If we, we are in. If you, we are in. I have told them. They are in stone also. They yeah, come from his home. Any house related there. Recycling. Yes. <laughs> okay. But, we find that when we're traveling around the world, before we arrive in any country, then there are a number of papers saying, Shri Bhakti Dantanayan Maharaj is so busy. We've got to learn to learn not just two teenage girls. Oh, really. I like that piece. That's tough. I, 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 I haven't heard that. Yeah, that's yes, 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 all of ready. You know. And in this, in this thing, what happens is before we arrive in a country, then they're distributed and printed in very, on very nicely printed booklets and distributed to all the devotees. Then that makes them afraid. And then when the disciples of Shiva and Raimaj, then they meet the disciples of 
uh, who have read all of these, this misinformation, then immediately one says this about this one and this, and then it, it, it causes a friction between the disciples. And actually, both camps are pretty innocent, and they don't really know each other, and they don't have any envy against each other. But because of this uh, propaganda that was done before our arrival, this causes a big problem. But you this said is also part, that, but, this yeah. is all part of the problem. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. So you is, can't be solved in a moment. Yes, 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 yes. of course. Yeah, and you just have to know that we also get papers circulated, or people get circulated that, you know, this gun goes with this and they're that, and so... Well, these not good. Yeah, we can easily solve, but we, all I'm asking for is balance. We just have to keep things balanced. To think for one moment that Prabhupada would want one dollar of his money being spent on printing that type of expensive toilet paper, okay, against his friend is totally absurd. Prabhupada was very close with the money. It's all his money. For people to think that they're serving him by taking money out of his pocket to print this, they're totally sleeping. It's the same thing I expressed with Armorenger when we were talking about the BBT case. It's all his money to think that you can use his money to fight each other is not the idea. That money could have been used for food distribution, temples, whatever. So the goal is now we're going to stop fighting. This I'm suggesting if something could, some check could be put on this kind of propaganda, or then the atmosphere we will. will happen. Or the next meeting, only one minute. the next meeting that we have at my place, hopefully Maharaj can arrange other leaders in ISKCON who affect all the temples, and certain things can go out immediately. They don't have to wait for an annual Mayapur meeting. Certain things need to be done immediately. And what needs to be done immediately is to stop the disease. The disease is fear and anger and hate and all the things that cause death. That has to be so. Every pamphlet that goes out on either side is death. Every time someone creates fear in another, which is unnecessary, is death. So it has to stop because people are dying. We're already going to die. We don't need to speed up the process. Right? So I think it will be very wonderful if you come. I mean, practically from my point of view, Maharaj, if you can help finish Mayapur while you're still alive, I think that Prabhupada will be waiting for you. Like you know, <laughs> yeah. And also, of course, there's a lot of devotees here, even Western devotees of Prabhupada, that don't understand Mayapur. And because the temples in the West are very poor and very struggling, they also need help. And to think that we can't use your help, that's mad. There's not enough people trying to do good in this world. Nine, I think the figure is nine million animals every day are killed in this world. But very few people do good. So the few people that are trying to do good, they shouldn't hurry up the death process with each other. We should let Narayan rest now, I think. Oh, yeah, we have discuss the date. The next meeting. We can work out a date. And just practical to get the past finished? Is that a good idea? We can just put it down? Yes. Things. We want to get to our Hasa Rasa. <laughs> <laughs> we want to laugh. Yes. Not enough laughing. No. No. You know that there are some who are laughing in Krishna, but this laughing should be good. <laughs> Not only laughing. Anyway,
anyway, we are very grateful that you've come here. Last very happy that we are meeting. I think that if you are meeting time to time, all <coughs> Was this a good start for you? Yes. I want to know about uh, Giraj Maharaj. I heard that he is here. He's in Santa Barbara, which is far, but when we make the date for the meeting at my house, he will come. Because of health, he, is, he has some surgery. Yeah. He's better now, though. He's recovering very nicely. He's actually he's better. He's feeling better than before the surgery. So he's recovering nicely. I thought that I can meet him. But today, Bhagavan Krishna Maharaj also would like to meet you. Oh, I, I have a phone it. from anyhow that he will meet in England. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, he is in London, in London. He is regard to me. Well, I met him about a month ago, and he was telling me like how much he wanted to meet. What is the name? Oh, sorry. But he is afraid. I mean, God help it. Yeah, I'll tell him that. Is that you? There's someone here that wants to say hello. Hare Krishna. Oh, my sasang dandot pranam to you. I heard that uh, you have some surgery. I thought that you will meet me here. I am eagerly waiting. Yes. Very good. 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 I will come out with you, you know. Two times, he heard two times. But now he is somewhat okay. You are walking, taking your shadam. Your well is uh, like before, well man is, you know, your well. What is this? Belly. Oh, your belly is okay? <laughs> what is that? He was saying they have a nice festival going on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Saying it's a nice way to oh, then I will do have to bring from before that back. happens, the other things have to be cleared away. <laughs> Again, we will meet. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Very well. Now you should. Yeah, can I just say one thing more? Mm -hmm. You can stay a little bit. No, just one second. Oh, you are brought sister and brother. Uh, I just wanted to make a suggestion to get to know Srila Narayan Maharaj a little better. If any of you individually or collectively, tomorrow he's going to Badger, if you'd like to spend a few days there and see how he gives classes, if he makes one sentence, what's the context of that sentence in the whole? and how he lives and live with him and associate a lot, not just in little tiny meanings, because there's always a little slight little tension because you don't know each other. But if you got to know each other by living together and Badger is a perfect place and that's near your house and coming to his darshans and see how he's responding to people and just who he is and he'll see who you are, then uh, that might be a very nice thing to develop that loving feelings. Some well, days together. Come to the class tonight, and you'll see that 
uh, Bhagavan Prabhu, he puts him on the same, in front of all the devotees, he puts him on the same couch. Of course he's but one. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has him stand up and give lectures and sing. It's a very wonderful... So we made some progress today. Yes. Yes, yes. We you know that he is your a... You and then you're going to go uh, back. Yes, you can fix that. Yes, that's that's what we'll what talk about a date. Now the thing is, you're... But so while he's in Badger, this has to go on. There has to be a little break in the festival. Now. Yeah, I, I propose that you select a few dates so that we can, as in the weekend, all the devotees are. You tell me the Badger. days which aren't so good, where most of the devotees are be. And uh, we can, let's start with you, because certain days may be more yeah. important for you to be in Badger. And I don't want to pick those days. Many weekends. But in Gaza, we have also our classes. So yeah. we should make any day fixed for yeah. Okay. <coughs> this is very important. I mean, overall, this will make everything better. So, by the way, you'll be in touch with them, right? So and I, will. Will. And I just want to say, trying to moderate this meeting, I may not be, have, I'm trying to be a little balanced here in, in certain ways, and uh, I don't know if I've been very successful You're with wonderful. that. But You're perfect. Well, uh, you can always do better, as Maharaj. <laughs> we'll let me know. But at least it's a beginning. And I think we can go from here with a little more trust to make it totally better. There's no reason why we can't try for some perfection. Okay, namaste. Thank yeah. you again for coming. Beautiful text. Do you have to take medicine now? Here. Uh, you see the Thank you.